Welcome back everyone. My name is Abhishek Amrutan. You are watching Abhi Aero Designer YouTube channel. Today's topic is a brief history on CATIA V5. Let's begin. While learning CATIA, have you ever wondered who invented CATIA and how engineers does 3D modeling before CATIA's invention? What about the other versions like CATIA V1 to V4 and what exactly is Dazal systems? To know the answers to these questions, we must go back into the history, 1970s to be specific. Before 1970s, most of the drawing used to happen on paper. There were very few 2D CAD softwares available such as CADAM. But there was no CAD tool to model a 3D curve or surface, which was difficult to represent it in 2D. Dassault Aviation, founded by Mr. Marcel Dassault, manufacturer of military aircrafts in France, were in badly need of a CAD tool to model a complex aerodynamic shape of a Mirage aircraft wing, which was difficult to do it in CADAM. Then, in 1977, a man called Francis Bernard, an employee of Dazalt Aviation, along with the team of four engineers, having worked for more than 10 years on CAD, under the roof of Dazalt Aviation has developed and launched a software in-house to provide a 3D and NC functions for the CADAM software they used at that time to develop Dazalt's Mirage fighter jet. That software initially named as CATI, a French for interactive aided three-dimensional design developed in Dazalt Aviation company. When Francis Bernard found out that CATI name was already trademarked by others, then he decided to rename it by adding A at the end and to make it as CATI. Yeah. Success of first releases of CATI was so impressive that in 1980s, everybody knows CATI in Dazalt Aviation. It is like miracle for many people. You can design it within few minutes, a curve, a surface, a structural component, rotate it, cut it in 3D. Not only that, you can also position a cutting tool on a numerical control machine, define its path along the path, and simulate graphically the machining process in 3D. Impressed by the success of CATIA, the founder itself, Mr. Marcel Dazalt, had his hands on the software and looked into it. We can see the picture of Marcel Dazalt operating CATIA. It is 1981 is when Dazalt Group decided to develop and sell the software. Then it created a subsidiary called Dazalt Systems with Francis Bernard as his co-founder and first general manager. In the same year, Dazalt Systems has signed a non-exclusive distribution agreement with IBM. That is when CATIA V1 is announced with 5 to 8 products. And you can see the first flyer released by IBM, which reads Computer Graphics Aided 3 Dimensional Interactive Application. 1984 is a big year for CATIA, where CATIA V2 version is announced and with 10 products. Boeing Company chose CATIA V2 as its main 3D CAT tool, becoming its largest customer. And French Newspapers has published an article with a statement called Boeing more French than ever. As Boeing being an American company chose CATIA which is an European invention, Boeing has opened American market for CATIA. So fast forward from now, 1988, CATIA V3 is released with 18 to 25 products ported to Unix and 1992 to 93 is when CADAM was purchased from IBM, CATIA CADAM V4 was published, paving way for CATIA V4 with 30 to 100 plus products in it, and which includes a parametric design features. I will be doing a lot of videos on parametric design features in the future and upcoming videos. So please be subscribed to my channel. 1996 is when Dazzle System has released a, a new logo and listing into the stock markets. 1997 is a big year for SOLIDWORKS and CATIA as it acquired SOLIDWORKS. 
Yes, you have heard it right. SolidWorks was acquired, not made inside Dazzle Systems before 1997. It also acquired Deneb, which is now called as Gelmia, which has manufacturing support in it. Finally, in 1998, Katia V5 was released and entirely rewritten version of Katia with a support for Unix, Windows NT and Windows XP later on. One important fact guys. In years prior to 2000, problem caused by incompatibility between versions of Katia, version v4 and version v5, led to 6.1 billion in additional costs due to years of project delays in production of Airbus A380. The problem was that aircraft wiring was too short to make a connection. This might be due to either differences in geometric kernels between the both versions or by modeling methods employed by end users be careful guys the modeling method methods you use also is very important fast forward 2002 dazzle system released a new logo for katia and 2008 v6 is launched from then on many more releases of katia v5 and v6 were rolled out since then and in 2014 Dazzle system launched 3D experience platform R2014 and Katia is on cloud, a cloud version of its software. Although Katia was made for an aerospace needs, due to its immense 3D CAD CAM abilities, it was adopted into almost all the industries in design, engineering and manufacturing. Guys, one important update, I have created a short document on this topic. Please check the description for the link. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.